Hi, I'm Andy Irvine. You're watching Noise TV. This is written by a friend of mine called Marcus Turner from uh, Dunedin in New Zealand, and, and he wrote it a good few years ago. It's got nothing to do in his mind with what's been happening in the last couple of years in the world, but it's amazing how uh, it sounds almost like a um, like it was written uh, yesterday. It's called When the Boys Are On Parade.
song which is from the north of Ireland. Um, it's from County Antrim. And uh, a lot of my songs come from County Antrim because my mother's family came from there. And uh, my mother, unfortunately, did not teach me them uh, when I was very little, uh, which would have been lovely because it would have given me great credibility among uh, ethnomusicologists. But um, my mother, as it turned out, when I asked her why she hadn't taught me all these lovely songs, she said, she was an actress on that, she said, the darling, she said, I hate folk music. <laughs> so uh, that was uh, a bit of a downer. Um, if my mother had had her way, I would have been singing, uh, who stole the heart away? Who makes me dream all day? Dreams I know will never come true. Seems as though I'll ever be true. Who means my happiness? Who should I answer yes to? Well, can't you guess? You. Not you. <laughs> so I'm glad I avoided that one. Unfortunately, the music comedy was kind of dead by the time I was uh, uh, even vaguely interested in it. But um, this is a song which you probably wouldn't have liked, but it, it's uh, it's one of my favourite songs. It's called Girl I Left Behind. <clears throat> there was a rich old farmer lived in the country man. He had one only daughter on her. I cast my eye. She was so tall and slender, so delicate and so fair. No other girl in the
I'll sing you a song of Billy Farr, a true story without a shadow of a doubt. He lived in Melbourne in Footscray, but he found himself up Sydney Way, found himself up Sydney Way. He had an old car, was tired and worn, and was still the thorn, always born. But Billy and his mates on one fine day, they set out for Melbourne without delay, set out for Melbourne without delay. By the time that they arrived in Yass, fourth year was the thing of the past. But Billy and his mates, they were not their left. They said, we've still got three years left. They said, we've still got three years left. Oh, happy as Larry and sound as a bell, they were dreaming of the beer in the city hotel. When they came in sight of Alderby, third year it was history. Third year it was history. Says a Billy, we'll have to drive from here all the way to Melbourne in second year. Well, second year, that wasn't the worst. Forty days later, they were down to first. Forty days later, they were down to first. They entered the city in the finest style, leading a procession of 17 miles. When they came to Brunswick, the mates got out. See us all later, says Billy Far out. Don't see us all later, says Billy Far out. When Billy got back in the driving seat, he found first year was dead on its feet. But Billy didn't swear and Billy didn't curse. He set out for Footscray in reverse. Set out for Footscray in reverse. Come on, come all from near and far. Come all who drive automatic cars. Like Billy Far out your final abode. Maybe living in a banner on the side of the road. Living in an old banner on the side of the road. <laughs> Would you please welcome Kate Burke. Well, we'll start off with this one, uh, which is um, uh, a song about my youth, and it's a song I wrote uh, after nearly drowning in Scots Head in New South Wales, um, which was an experience I won't, I won't tell you about now, but it was, 
a very interesting experience to me. A, a near-death experience is always, is always interesting. Sir, it's the time.